It is Wednesday. We're about to start this Art Life live session. Uh, get ready for this. Hope you guys are ready. I got, I got a fun one for you today. As you're joining us, just let me know where you're tuning in from so I can shout you out before we get started. Uh, we got one painting for you today, but as always, it'll be a colorful Art Life Live session. All right, uh, let me know where you're tuning in from. We're about to start this live session soon. Just let me know uh, what city, state, or country you're in. Quick shout out to my first comment that popped up, Amy Hero, Long Island, New York, Kathy Alvarez, Rancho Cordova. We're gonna keep those shout outs coming. We're gonna start in 30 seconds. All right, let's get this started. Welcome to Art Life Live. My name is David Garibaldi and it's Wednesday and uh, it's midweek, but I got a colorful show for you today. Uh, as always, let's paint. My name is David Garibaldi and I paint live. As I paint, let's talk about Art Life Live starts now. All right, I see the city's coming in already. Thank you guys for joining us from all around the world. My name is David Garibaldi. I am a performance painter. I paint these large portraits in minutes to music, but on here, I'm gonna be taking my time uh, to create this portrait, answering your questions. Uh, so leave those comments below, but let's start off by shouting out your city. So I saw Jolie Lozano on YouTube, Yay Area, uh, Kathy Alvarez in Rancho Cordova, uh, Marquise Clearwater, Karen in Sacramento, uh, Dan, uh, who was it, Dan Venus? Not really sure. Oh yeah, Sussex UK, that's what it is. Lee Wallen in Sussex UK. Thank you for watching. Um, big shout out to Amanda Bradford as well. Uh, Joan in Sacramento. Nicole Robbins, I see Haley watching on YouTube in Germany. So welcome as well. Roger in Sweden, Joshua in San Antonio, Texas. Let's check in with TikTok and Instagram there over here to my right. Where are you guys tuning in from over here? Norway. All right, so we've got Norway. Florida. Florida. Egypt. Egypt. By the way, we just sent a painting to a new collector in Saudi Arabia. So it just arrived, I think yesterday, he sent me pictures. So shout out to the Middle East. Phoenix. Phoenix. Atlanta. Atlanta. I see Elijah Cameron in Seattle. Yance, Texas joining us. North Carolina. North Carolina. Toronto. What is that? Toronto. Toronto. 
T, they call it T dot, right? Is that the, I'm looking for confirmation back here. You're, yes, he knows the Canadian slang, right? All right, Nicole Robbins, hello, back to you. Yancey is up in Washington, watching this on YouTube. Ethan, uh, so Ethan said, I'm in China at the moment. Welcome, thank you for watching this as well. All right, so just that so we're about to start in one minute. Those of you watching on over here on Instagram and TikTok, we have this session going on in HD, so go to the link in my bio. Those of you that are right here watching with me, thank you for tuning in. I've got uh, one painting for you throughout this process as always. I'm gonna share about what I'm doing, why I'm, I'm creating that way, but I also wanna answer your questions. So if you're a creator, an artist, a painter out there, I wanna do my best to help you wherever you are and hopefully I can give some insight. And if not, I'm gonna tell you to go try to search for it in a certain way. So we're just here to help. I, I really feel that Art Life uh, is a growing community and I want this to really be an encouraging safe space for all creators around the world. And even if you don't create, even if you are not don't, don't consider yourself an artist. I consider you an artist, but I want this to still be a, a creative space for all of you, no matter what you do. So it's time, time is counted down. Wherever you are in the world, I like to imagine that we're in a room all together. We're in a, I guess how many people? We have about, oh, cumulatively about, about 6,000 people that watch this throughout the stream. So let's just say we're in a small theater. We're in a theater and all together, as we start, let's say, let's paint. All right, thank you guys so, so much for watching this today. As always, actually, let's go over here. So this camera right here is being controlled by my nephew. We're gonna, I'm gonna put him on the spot and introduce him later, but uh, thank you, Micah, who is on this camera right now. He's helping us, helping TikTok and Instagram and all of you watching around the world. Uh, also, start leaving your comments down below. I will stop at different moments to read your comments no matter what platform you're on. And then they'll just ask questions to me as well throughout this broadcast. So let's go. All right, let's paint. So as always, if you are new to this, you know, you've never heard of Art Life, maybe someone shared this video with you, maybe an algorithm sent it your way. Uh, if you're new here, just comment below and just say new so I can either personally welcome you or anyone else can welcome you. If you've watched these live streams before, just comment on back and we can show you love as well. Also, Start leaving your questions below in the comments so I can answer them while I'm creating. I'm gonna do my best. I'm sure some of you maybe tried talking while painting. It's not that easy, but I'll do my best to uh, answer your questions. So uh, it's been a really crazy, busy last couple weeks. Some of you that follow pop culture know that um, Juice World released an album posthumously. It's, it came in at number one on the charts, and I think he broke a record where he had uh, maybe five different songs on the top 100, which is very, very rare. So we were excited to be part of the project of the release of not only uh, Life's a Mess, uh, what else? Hate the Other Side, but also I Can't Die as well. Maybe there's more. So right now, I'm just gonna lay down this base uh, color and layer. This is gonna help me not only find, find the parts that I'm gonna be painting today, but also um, it'll act as you know, kind of an undertone for the, for the painting and the other colors that I add on top. But let me do this. I'm gonna go come down here. Um, are we, there we go, yes. I'm gonna read some of your comments so we can get this started as well. Uh, so Haley Forrest is back. What else? Uh, Brandon Bowman, what's up? Back to you as well. And Ethan Bennett is new. So don't forget, leave your questions below. I'll do my best to answer those as well. So 
So, Micah, if you see any questions there, feel free to ask me the questions you may see in the comments. All right, great question. So someone just asked, who is my inspiration? Uh, I have many different inspirations, but I, I would say when it comes to this style of painting, which I call performance painting, and I would say that, you know, there's a handful of artists that do this. Uh, I would say that Denny Dent is an artist who is a huge inspiration. I really consider him as the forefather, the, the father of this particular style where it's not just live painting, it's making art an entertaining show. And even though we're painting live on here, just my normal style is performing live on stage, which I love and enjoy. And uh, I hope you guys get to see a live show one day. But Denny Den is a huge inspiration uh, among many, many other artists as well. So thank you for that. Keep asking those questions below. Let's go over here. Let's get some. Ooh, that's a great question. Someone asked, have I ever tried to paint blindfolded? I have not, but there is an artist, I think he goes by the name of uh, Boo Designs or, or, or Babu Designs, I can't remember, you guys may know it. He does these black and white paintings of different like pop culture images and he also uses objects. So for example, if it's a portrait of Kobe Bryant, he uses a basketball or if it's, um, you know, a television star. He uses a television to, to paint it. But I've seen him paint blindfold, and I'm like, I'm thinking, that's that's really hard to do, guys. I don't know if it's natural or tricks. Even if there's a trick to it, it's still not easy. I haven't done it. All right, thank you for the questions. Just keep asking away. This one is probably gonna move pretty quick. You may guess this as it starts to come to life in the upper area of this. Let me know if you guys have any other questions out there. I'm gonna read some actually down below in just a minute. That's a great question. So someone else asked, how important is confidence when painting? And, you know, it's, I don't necessarily think that confidence is what makes you a better artist or painter. What I think is continuing to try is what builds your confidence. So confidence comes with results of habits and, and never stopping and, and being tenacious. So I would say it's more important to be tenacious and curious and to have a hard work ethic than to be confident because there's still things that I do that I'm not as confident in, but I keep trying and I will outwork, you know, I'm not the best artist, but I will outwork some of the best artists. I'll say that. All right, let's get rid of these brushes. So those of you uh, wondering, maybe you're not wondering, I'm just gonna let you know that we go live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday as much as that we can. Uh, today we're on a little bit later, times vary, but if you set your notifications on, you'll get that notification about when we go live. brush up. This one was a little dried out. By the way, one question that you guys ask a lot is, do I paint other things besides figures? Like, do I paint animals or uh, other type of subjects? And I'm not opposed to it. I just, there's something about the human figure that is challenging enough that I feel like I'm still a student of it. And I feel like I'll always be a student of it. But if you really want to challenge yourself, 
as an artist, I always recommend uh, figure drawing classes where you learn from life, you learn from the objects around you and the life around you. So the person that I'm painting today, if you're watching this live, try to guess below. If you're watching this later, you already know who it is. But this person is not a normal musician that I would normally create, but he's definitely a musician. He is an, an artist, he performs live. He, uh, he's a, I, I, think, I feel like he's more of a character, but extremely talented and we all rock out to his music, so. Let me see if below, I'm gonna try to go down here, read some of your comments. All right, so Blah on YouTube showing love, saying underrated artist, I appreciate the love. Amanda Bradford asked, so what inspires you? That's a great question. Um, my inspiration comes from a lot of different things in life but I would say I, I tap a lot into music and pop culture. And I do that because I'm genuinely a fan of these musicians and artists and, uh, you know, luckily we get to work with them as well sometimes, but I'm just a fan of music. So I, I love tapping into pop culture and, you know, music of all kinds. Matter of fact, this music artist, creates all types of music, which you'll see very soon. Any guesses yet before I start adding color of who it could be? Let's see. So someone said Michael Jackson. All right, all right. Uh, let me know any other guests below. Also, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them. All right, I'm gonna start. This is, a, this is gonna be a dead giveaway right here. Any, any guesses yet? Any guesses? Just So I just put a few lines on, someone said Bruno Mars. What are some other guesses? So Prince is a guess, all right. So the reason why I ask you guys to guess is because a lot of times, no matter what I'm creating, your original guess is technically right because it's based on your life experience, you know, or, or even maybe you haven't listened to a lot of music or seen a lot. And so it could be based on that as well, but either way, whatever you guess is always right. Okay, so you guys are starting to see it. You're starting to see who this is. So we recently uh, I recently did portraits of this artist, this person, in some recent music videos that came out uh, under the Juice World release. I'm gonna use my wall as a palette real quick just to mix in some white with some pink. That didn't really turn out well. Oh, here we go, here's a better pink. There we go. This is, I feel like, one of the most iconic images of music today. Let's go back and get some more pink. By the way, big shout out, thank you to my nephew who is 
in control of this camera today. Chadi is uh, has a day off. She's she's um, doing much more <laughs> important things in my live session. But uh, thank you, Micah, for helping out today. So we're gonna bring you closer as well to show you the details in this. But when you're painting these simple objects or characters that may look like they're like cartoon characters or there's not a lot to it, as an artist, try to add depth to that. And you do that by adding dimension. So thinking it's still about light and shadow and a light shining on this and then you as an artist bring it to life. So again, lines like this, where I imagine the light hitting his face at a certain angle, bringing it to life, making it pop up off the canvas. I want you to try to do that when you're creating different, uh, whether it's an animated character, whether it's someone like this. Don't just use one color. I want you to give it life. Let me grab another brush here. So we're gonna imagine a rim of light around him. There we go. All right, let's keep creating this. Again, if you have any questions, Ask them down below. So now that you can see who it is, it's Marshmallow Music. If you have a favorite Marshmallow song, comment down below. You let me know what is your favorite Marshmallow song. We're going to start adding some other rims of light on this. I'm going to use a spray paint to do that. It's because I'm going to get a full stream of color, uninterrupted stream of color. My favorite part is coming up a bit. We're gonna throw some paint around. So I'm gonna come back with some white paint to give highlights to that blue so it pops a little bit more. Again, we're imagining a light source is either behind her or coming down from the side. In the middle of these sections where I want the most, let me spray this on the wall, where I want that to feel the brightest. Loosen the curves. So not doing it everywhere, just, just in the middle of some of these Let's do one more thing. I'm gonna use that same blue. I'm gonna get a fat cap. See if I have a pink in here we can throw another light source. 
of pink on this. There we go. We're gonna bring you up close to see this in just a little bit. I'm gonna add some highlights because we're imagining that light source coming from this direction. Any questions out there that are they asking? My guy is focused. He's like, no, we got this camera work going. Feel free to ask questions below. yours but it's my favorite part the reason I splash paint is for two reasons one either it's just fun to do but also it helps create balance so for example with this image it's very heavy on the right side or if you're looking at it it's on the left side so I'm gonna try to throw on this side to create some balance and even it out and then I'm gonna throw even more everywhere else it's just so it again feels balanced and it's fun By the way, those of you who try this style at all, please tag me in the videos. I would love to see your progress and just to see, you know, how what, what techniques you're using to try this live or performance painting. All right, looks good to me. We're gonna end this with one last hand print. Let's come on in for one more. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining us today. Take one last look at this marshmallow portrait. And then uh, before we sign off, we're gonna do some shout outs, so get ready for that, but take one last look. All right, thank you so much for watching this live stream. Or if you're watching this later, thank you. Uh, if you're wondering you know, how you can support this channel, the best way to support this is to visit garibaldiarts.com forward slash shop. We have diff different prints available. And also there's a link in my bio if you ever want to inquire about original paintings or anything else. Give, go ahead and get a little bit closer. We can show them around a little bit. Either way, I appreciate you joining us for this Art Life Live. We try to do this every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. If you don't want to miss a session, just turn your notifications on and you'll never miss Art Life Live. All right. Go ahead. All right, get one last look at him. Welcome back. All right, take one last look before we wrap up this session. We'll give you a look later, but I'm ready for some shout outs right now. Whew, got a little sweat going. All right, welcome back everybody. You can see him behind us, Marshmallow. So what inspired me to do this Marshmallow today was this past couple weeks, we worked on these videos with Juice World featuring either Marshmallow or Marshmallow produced it. And um, you can say that there's more to come, but for now, I've just been in this zone of I've always enjoyed his music I've always been inspired by it always moved to it and so I wanted to bring it to life as a painting uh, for you on the session so before we sign off uh, let's do this let me know where are you tuning in from where in the world are you I'm gonna read your comments over here and also on TikTok or Instagram if you have any last-minute questions ask now because we won't be back until Friday for another Art Life Live all right so I'm gonna read some of these uh, so Colleen said the splatters of paint can be dust particles as well. Yes, so yeah, they're also, it could appear that way, like it's a film. So 
Uh, Caesar Cesar Aguilar on Periscope said, makes it look easy, LOL. I don't know, I, I wish it was. That would be amazing, but it's just it's a lot of years of, of doing this. So Nicole Robbins, uh, she said, beautiful as always. Thank you for the love, appreciate it. And uh, so Luca said, this is really good. Please make this a print. You never, you never know, you never know. All right, so I see some people shouting out their city. Let's get to that before we sign off. Uh, Lisa Neary, New Jersey, USA. Autumn is uh, in what's it, central New Jersey. I see uh, Stephen on YouTube. He's in Hampshire, England. We've got England watch. We've got Yancey in Washington. I see you. Brian in South Florida. Uh, my mom is watching. It's probably somewhere in the area. Uh, what about over here? Uh, Salt Lake City. Okay, so Salt Lake City. Uh, Boston. Boston. Brazil. Brazil. Japan, Mexico, Mexico uh, New York, New York Canada. Canada, Alberta. Also, uh, Amanda Bradford in Detroit, Colleen Glanville in Canada. She's Canadian. Australia's tuning in. Uh, Danville, California. All right, real quick also before you guys start signing off, uh, if you're ever wondering how you can support these Art Life Live sessions for us to be able to do them Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, you can always visit the link in my bio or visit GaribaldiArts.com forward slash shop. We have small prints of, actually prints of all sizes available and soon we'll start offering prints in all sizes. So those of you that maybe have a Frida or the Salvador Dali or whatever portraits on there, uh, we're going to start offering them in a lot larger sizes very soon. But uh, those prints go to help support these live sessions and I appreciate everyone who's always showing support along the way. So also those of you that ordered the We Will Grow t-shirts, those are shipping out end of this week. Thank you for the love on that. And um, Roosevelt Witten, man, you said, damn it, uh, damn I missed it, sack town a little late, it's all good. So uh, Roosevelt or all of you out there, if you don't want to miss an Art Life live session, just turn your post notifications on, either for my account or for the app you want to watch it on. But you got, I, I, I wish you could have could have caught it, man. I wish you could have caught it. So, all right. Yes, that's, you know what, Roosevelt. Let me, let me fix this real quick. So, if you still want to watch this, it'll be up right after this. Um, I think you're watching this on Facebook. It'll be on as soon as we sign off, or you can go to youtubecom forward slash Garibaldi Arts as well, and then the link in my bio. You can actually just play it live there. All right, any last things over here on TikTok and Instagram? Shout out to Marcus Crutchfield. Shout out to you, thank you for being here. All right, so they want prints and masks of marshmallow. All right, well, we'll run that by the marshmallow team. We'll see if we can give you guys some marshmallow. It's even a limited edition, we'll see. All right, we're gonna sign off. My name is David Garibaldi. Thank you so much for watching this and this is Art Life Live. I'm gonna take one last look at that marshmallow before we sign off. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you're on YouTube. Follow if you are on, uh, on Facebook or like. Periscope, just hit that follow button. TikTok, Instagram, thank you guys. All right, thank you, peace.